Uh, Brayden Bishop talking about uh, my swing changes from uh, the 16th season, 17th season. Uh, so in uh, 2016, my hands were a little bit higher, you know, causing me to be a little bit steeper through the zone. My barrel was super flat, you know, and obviously the pitch is coming down. So you want to be just a little bit under it. Um, so I lowered my hands, um, you know, working with Jake Lamb from the Diamondbacks. You know, he was a lower hand set guy. So I thought if I could work from low to high, it'd be a little bit better. So lower the hands, you know, move my, my face a little bit more narrow just because I'm a longer stride guy. Um, so in my setup this way, obviously the pitch comes in. I just try and sink my movement and my bat tip to how the pitchers move in. So obviously he, he's a quick guy. My tip will be a little bit quicker. If he's a slower guy, my tip will be a little bit slower and elongated. Um, but as I tip and then start to move forward, my hands get back up to shoulder height. I want a little bit of angle over my head. That'll allow my turn to be a little bit quicker and more efficient. And then as I'm turning to the ball, my barrel obviously wants to get a little bit flatter so it's in the zone early. And like I said, because my hands are lower, it'll be a little bit lower. Uh, different for everybody, obviously. And then as I'm turning to the ball, the barrel will obviously be in there early and continue. So when I'm making contact, I'm at full speed. Um, and then as I continue through the baseball, I want this to extend a little bit and then have a little bit bend in this. So then as I'm working through the ball, I'm not cutting myself off or rolling over, but I'm allowed to continue through the baseball and then create the backspin by hitting the bottom half of the ball and then driving it into a gap, hopefully.